guys, it's Jake. Uh, just here to do a little bit of a beer review. I delivered some beer to Josh Seckauer. Make sure you check out his channel. He's got some good stuff on there. Um, and he gave me his Not Moon Man Pale Ale, which is a Citra Centennial and Cascade American Pale Ale. I imagine based on the name that it's modeled after New Glarus Moon Man. So, um, let's get into it. Not much of a pop there, but it is pretty cold, so... Ooh, that smells delicious. It's got a lot of grapefruit aromas, um, a lot of citrus, a little bit of, ooh, like really strong pineapple aroma. I can smell it from here. Oh yeah, that's um, tropical fruit. Maybe a little like passion fruit almost. Mm. Mostly, mostly pineapple though. Getting a lot of pineapple. Oh, yeah, that's really tasty. There is, you can see the glass is not clean enough to do it justice, but that's a little bit of haze. Um, but it's still pretty clear. And yeah, the aroma on it is delightful. The um, carbonation's a little low. Um, I had it sitting in my car all day yesterday while I was at the ski area. Um, so I imagine that some of it might have worked out just driving around and stuff. So. There's a, since the carbonation's a lot lower than I would expect um, in a pale ale, it comes across as kind of, the mouth feels almost like thick, but thin at the same time, because I can feel my tongue getting coated and without the carbonation to um, lift that off, it's it's sticking around a long time. Um, but definitely a good beer. Um, yeah, without the carbonation, it's completely throwing off my perception of it. Um, it my brain's having a, a hard time processing it. Um, the aroma is fantastic. The flavor is good. There's a little bit of um, like slickness that I'm guessing is from the the dry hopping without the carbonation. It just kind of feels like every time I take a sip, I'm getting another layer of hop flavor painted on my tongue, um, but yeah, I wish I could have sampled this right out of your keg, but yeah, it's good beer, Josh. Cheers. Alright, so this is still Josh's Not Moon Man Pale Ale. As it warms up, I remember in one of his videos he was talking about he picks up like a butteriness. Um, particularly with beers that he dry hops. And as it warms up, I can kind of see where he would get that. But for myself, it comes across as more of a mouthfeel thing. And it might be, again, the lack of carbonation. But it's more, I think it's the hop oils from the dry hopping. Um, again layering on my tongue and it kind of gives that it's not a true oily texture but I could um, it comes across as a little bit oily 
and um, I, whether that's right or wrong, I don't know, but um, yeah, it's still a really good beer. I don't think, I agree with Josh, I don't think it's diacetyl. Um, it, I, the beer tastes really clean, really well fermented. Um, but there, there is just that hint of almost like a mouthfeel thing. So I, I almost wonder like if you might carbonate it, carbonate it a little bit more, Josh, if that might um, help lift some of that mouthfeel off and make it a little less, um, come across as a little less buttery, but just a guess. Um, I, I'm not an expert. I, I enjoy beer and again this was a good one Josh thanks for sharing